Kevin Ware joins us now to talk a little bit more about what exactly happened in the whirlwind past couple of days. So, Kevin, start from the beginning. How did this play out? This is really just a crazy situation in general. What happened is on Monday morning, Mike Williams walked into Doug Marone's office and basically told him that he was quitting. What Doug Marone probably didn't know at that time was that Williams and three other Syracuse football players were in a car accident early Sunday morning. Mike Williams, Tory Ball, Antoine Bailey, and Andrew Tiller were in an SUV being driven by Tiller that was rear-ended near Lenox, New York at 5.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. Tiller had a minor neck injury, guys, and was taken to the hospital as a precautionary measure. The others were uninjured. Alcohol not expected, was not suspected to be a part of it, and no, none of them faced any charges. So basically, Williams, knowing that he was going to be suspended again, facing for violating team rules, for being out that late in the morning, for being in the start part of the state that he was. Instead of going through another suspension, he decided to quit. All right, Kevin, but we've been down this road before. Just a couple weeks ago, Mike Williams, not part of the Akron game, violation of team rules. Is there any reason to think that perhaps Mike Williams could rejoin this team at some point this year or, or next year? Well, sources close to the situation say that Williams may have apparently asked to be reinstated to the football team on Tuesday. That he asked Doug Moreau, but Williams posted on his Facebook Tuesday, and I quote, Thanks, Cuse. Thanks for everything. My best time was here. And to all my real fans, I promise I will be somewhere where you guys can keep being great fans. So it appears any chance of Mike Williams being put back on the football team, done. So certainly a developing situation. And Kevin, thanks so much for the input.